I hope you don't mind my microphone being so close to me. But if you think that I should place this microphone a bit far away, just do let me know in the comments below. So this video is a little bit different from my normal videos because today I'm going to tell you what was my first laptop that I ever used. So this uh, is my first laptop that I ever used. And this is IBM ThinkPad and this laptop is about 18 years old. So in 18 years, I have changed like two to three laptops. So first this, then I had Sony Vio. And after that, I had Asus VivoBook. And after that, I got my G15. So this ThinkPad, it was my parents' ThinkPad. They bought it for their business purposes. So they used to use this laptop for some business presentations and occasionally i used to take this laptop and play some igi game i never completed that game so that is a different story so this laptop costed my parents about 54,000 rupees so they actually spent a lot in a laptop which is considered to be a prehistoric dinosaur in the current market so outside this laptop is completely plastic there is no metal no metallic surface uh, anywhere and this is a very hard feeling laptop this does not feels premium at all and for opening this laptop you need to slide this key towards the right and then it opens so the opening is a bit like a briefcase so this is how it looks and again this is all plastic there is no metal anywhere and this does not feels premium at all now take a look at this screen i think this is the most alien looking screen that any laptop can have so looking at this angle i think this looks completely square unlike in most modern laptops which have a rectangular screen so to give you a comparison of this screen i'll use my strix g15 and it's like the grand 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 grandson is standing with grand 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 grandfather so this is a completely square looking screen and this is a rectangular screen so i don't even know what is the aspect ratio of this screen but this screen is about 14 inch uh, diagonally and this g15 is 15 inch there is a lot of difference in the aesthetics and the feel of the materials in 18 years the world has changed a lot so now let me tell you about this keyboard this keyboard is a lot different than what your normal laptops keyboard are the arrangement of these keys is pretty different so it is not intuitive to type on this keyboard currently for 18 years ago people were accustomed to this keyboard but today this is obsolete so if you are typing on this keyboard then it is very difficult to know where the next key is so it actually breaks the flow of typing so i'll be doing a keyboard comparison with my g15 in just a few minutes but this keyboard is a very different feeling keyboard there is an access ibm button i don't know what this button is but this is a very strange button in no modern laptops you'll be seeing access asus button this button is pretty strange i don't know what's the use but but i am guessing that this is for accessing the web another peculiar thing about this keyboard are the speaker so this is the speaker i don't know if you can see but check this out and the most funny thing about this laptop is this trackpad take a look at this trackpad this is such a small trackpad that for the size this is minuscule uh, I can just fit my three fingers and they will completely overlay this trackpad. The worst part is that IBM has to integrate five keys just for such a small trackpad. So this is your left key, this is your right key, this is your middle key for scrolling up and down and these are again left and right keys. So I don't know what's the use of putting the same keys again at two different locations. So one of the major design elements that this laptop has, which shows that 18 years ago, laptop technology was very immature, is the fact that the connectors, which are used to connect the display to the motherboard of the laptop, they are completely visible here. You can see they are just visible here. 
and these connectors unlike in most modern laptops they are integrated neatly in the hinges of the laptop the worst part is if you just fiddle with it some pointed device then you are pretty sure to get this rigged up and your screen will completely turn black take a look at this g15 there are no connectors because those connectors are integrated in the hinges So one peculiar thing about this laptop is the fact that this laptop was a status symbol. So 18 years ago, if people were carrying this laptop to their work and to their office, uh, anyone will just take them as a very big person. This was the premium standard of business. This was the gold standard of computing and people used to take that person very seriously. So now let me show you what are the ports offered on this device. So in the left side, you have some USB ports and these USB ports are a bit different. These ports don't have any connector. So these pins are highly exposed and, and whenever you are trying to put some USB in this, then there is a risk of these connectors getting bent and getting stuck. So the next slot is this LAN slot. So you can stick any LAN in it. And these are your heat pipes. And talking about heat pipes, I remember whenever I was playing IGI, this laptop used to heat a lot. And this is a floppy disk. So you do get a lot of stuff if you buy an 18 years old laptop. So back here, I think this is the port for connecting to projector. This is your connector for connecting to some computers. And back then, I think there were cathode tube computers which had that long tail. Uh, they were so bulky and you have to connect this to those bulky monitors. Here, this is your DVD drive. You can stick any DVD in it and play it. So this was the port overview of this laptop. And now let me tell you what are the specs of this laptop. So this laptop is powered by an Intel Centrino mobile chip and, and it has only 512 megabytes of RAM. And this has a 40 GB of hard disk. 40 GB is nothing compared to our modern standards. So this laptop is in real sense prehistoric. It's the granddaddy of every laptop. But 18 years ago, guys, this was a very big deal. So now let me compare the weights of these two laptops. So this weighs at about 2.46 kilograms. So 2450 grams is a lot. Uh, comparing it to my G15, my G15 is just 200 grams lighter. So this is at 2.28 kilograms. So there is just 200 grams of difference, which is not that much. So what are some of my final thoughts on this laptop? Uh, this laptop is a distant memory. My first experience of gaming on laptop started with this ThinkPad. And after 18 years, I am finally married to my Rockstrix G15. And this is the perfect laptop partner that you can find. So that was it. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe so that you will never miss any of these videos in the future. So subscribe, keep watching. I'll see you soon.